family of Chavakali Boys High School student who died in a road accident on Monday night has lamented the school's decision to release students for travel back home at night. Despite parents' concerns about the students' safety, the school proceeded with the students' departure plans leading to the accident. The bereaved family of the late Joseph Maduli discovered the devastating news through social media, criticizing the school administration for its lack of communication and accountability in the matter. Ben Kirui with the details. This is the wreckage of the Easy Coach bus, which was ferrying students from Chavakali Boys High School to Nairobi for the April holiday break before tragically overturning at the Mambo Leo Junction in Kisumu County. Among the casualties, 17-year-old Joseph Maduli, who died on the spot, while numerous others sustained injuries. The incident occurred at 11.35 p.m. As the journey commenced from Chavakali to Nairobi, parents, including Joseph Maduli's family, expressed concern over the unusual decision to release students at night. Ningana na easy coach kusabu hiyo ndio basi huwa wanatumia kukomute. Um, wakangalia wakaona all the buses were fully booked by other schools prior. So hainge kue tikitu wange make a decision na seme, okay, sawa, tunde ni kesho because there were no buses. Aka muwasasa wa travel usiku. Na nikitu ambacho wakijawa ifanyika kwa any midterm, any closing day, aija ifanyika usiku. So wazazi wengine walikuwa sawa, wazazi wengine hawakuwa sawa. So I was worried why hawakuwa natupatia option, ya. Mimi mwenye staki, nini ningine nezafanya. For us and as parents, we have very many questions. Very, very many questions about everything that has happened. Um, as we wait to receive the body, first, it's not clear why we have not gotten that we have to look for the information ourselves through and through. Mary, like many other parents, could not find sleep as she grew concerned over her son's safety. Sikupata usingizi. Na by around 1, ilikuwa 1 ama ilikuwa 12.30 ilikuwa online social media you know hata ukiwa usiku hata una watch movie una scroll to simu so hapo ndio nilipata kupata ujumbe ya kwamba kuna basi ambayo imeanguka ya chavakali news of the accident began circulating online around midnight yet mary could not confirm her son's status until morning she criticized the school's management for their communication labs kwa WhatsApp group niko na 5 5 5am kuna watu walikuwa nasema oh basi imefika my student my son is here oh so nikaanza kusema hope 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 6am 6:45 basi bado zinaingia wazazi bado wanapokea watoto wao pale easy coach na nikajiuliza eh kwani wangu afiki ndio nikaanza sasa kuuliza mbona mbona wangu hajafika nikiuliza one of the teachers mwenye alikuwa anasema alikuwa on site when the accident happened ananiambia wale ambao walipata minor injuries walipewa ruhusa wapigie wazazi wao wawambie usiwe na wasiwasi niko hospitalini niko sawa we are learning from the media and from um, our friends and relatives who are in Kisumu that the leadership of the school only got to the hospital at 1:30 p.m. With the dawn's arrival and no signs of their son, they dispatched a friend in Kisumu to visit hospitals for information of his whereabouts. Joseph Maduli, a promising Form 4 student who aspired to become a pilot and a basketball enthusiast, saw his dreams cut short by the accident. His body was transferred to Jaramogi Teaching and Referral Mortuary, with plans underway to transfer him to Nairobi for burial. Two other students sustained severe injuries and are hospitalized at Avenue Hospital in Kisumu, while 32 others continue to receive treatment treatment at Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital in Kisumu. Ben Kiroi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.